Eileen's asking, how do you do the sleep if you work until 10 p.m.? So she's a shift worker. What 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 advice do you have for shift workers? So she unwinds as best she can. She takes a little salt or baking soda before she goes to bed, which will reduce the acidity that's been built up during the day because her, her cycles may be a little off and then gets to bed as soon as she can. Okay. With a grounding wristband, Eileen, get the, get the grounding wristband. Okay. One of the things that I find that's so important, Dr. Osborne, is that people become very acidic when they're very hyped up, if they're exposed to a lot of artificial light, if their synchronicity is a little out of whack, and taking a little salt or baking soda before they go to bed really shuts down the acidity and calms the mind and, okay. soothes, that, the, and soothes the spirit. Is that something you see work well? I'm, I'm, I'm hearing the questions come in, you know, restless legs, uh, tight muscles, those types of things, relaxing yes, the body. Yes, sodium, sodium, sodium. We're very deficient in sodium. I like the Himalaya sodium, a quarter teaspoon a couple of times a day and before you go to bed. Yes, indeed, it will relax the muscles as well as, of course, magnesium at five milligrams per pound of body weight. Five milligrams per pound. So write that down, folks, five milligrams per pound. That's a, a big question These we get is how much to take. These are, well, that will restore your reserves, which are very easily drained when today's very toxic environment. And listen, we're, a lot of people are in fear mode because of all the pandemic stuff that's going around now. So people are really on high gear. We're really a little out of whack. So we need more magnesium now than ever. We need a chill pill, Dr. O. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I, think, I think you're right. We need a chill pill. I've had, I know everybody's had their struggles during this thing. Uh, and I'm not, I'm not uh, immune to those struggles either. I've been pretty amped up through this. Um, what, what do you suggest moving, moving forward as this pandemic continues to kind of progress out? You know, you mentioned touch, human touch is being so important earlier. And I, and I couldn't agree more. I think human touch is so healing and so vital. Um, what do you suggest with people? People right now are so scared to be with their friends and to be with their family members. I know, and I'm not sure how I can break through that because depending upon where you get your news source, it'll really take over your mind and your thoughts and your viewpoint. So I would say to be in touch virtually if you can't be in touch in person, that'd be number one. But make sure that you supplement daily with enough vitamin D, enough zinc, quercetin, and vitamin C. You want to ensure that the best vaccine is your immune system. Amen to that. There's no better immune system or no better vaccine than you. Um, and you got to make yourself an invincible fortress. And that's what I write about in the book. My first rule is immunity is everything. And I teach you what vitamins, minerals, and hormones you need in what amounts that you really need on a daily basis. Because, the, you know, today it's the coronavirus. Tomorrow may be another variant. So you want to make yourself immune. You want to grow a stronger back because there'll be a lot more toxic load that we're going to have to carry. No doubt about it. And I mean, this is just a, a new virus and along of viruses that the humans have have faced and beaten, you know, time and time again over our, over our, um, over our history. So we can overcome everything. The idea is not to succumb, but to overcome life is tough, but we're tougher. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. So let's see here. I've got a question coming in. So Laura is asking about natural grounding. She understands natural grounding, but questions that grounding with a bracelet in a wall, how is that natural? Maybe not, not the right question. How is that natural? Maybe more specifically, how is that working similar to grounding outside? Because the neutral ground in the, in the electrical system works very similarly. And many of us can't get outside because we're in a very different climate. So it works wonderfully well. And we're able to measure that actually with a voltmeter. Okay. And there's, I mean, you, what you're saying is absolutely right. And what you're saying has been super well researched. I mean, I know the doctor who used to be in charge of Lance Armstrong's, you know, his team. Oh, who is that? Jeffrey Spencer. And, uh, and, and he, he, brought grounding. Yes, yes, yes. He's, a, he's a friend of, of Tim Albers. Yeah, he he's brought a grounding to Lance's team and, and their team always had better longevity. They always had greater longevity. And that was one of their secrets is every, every night they would ground the team. That was the rule within their team. That's why they were, that's why they had such good rest and restorative you know, rest after those long rides. And a lot of times it was in the electrical ground. So tell your, your, that lovely right. lady. That's, that that's and that's what, what I'm what referring to. It was, it they were in hotels. Yeah. Yes. So this this is this is good technology, healing EMF, so to speak. 
Absolutely. And, and Louise, when is your book ready? When is it out already? I have a copy, but I always get the advanced copies. So your book's coming out in May, right? May 11th. I think it is, it's about a month from now, but people, if they go to radicallongevitybook.com, we give them three downloads to talk about the hidden infections in the teeth, the chronological versus biological aging and 10 life-saving do-it-yourself tests to assess nutritional stability. So we're going to give a lot of little free gifts away if they pre-order the book, which is all about what we want to do these days, pre-order the book. And then the publisher gets excited and they help us get the healing message out to more and more people. That's right. Hashtag save a hundred million lives. That's what we're all about right here. <laughs> that is so, what we're all about. That's why we're on the same wavelength. Absolutely. So it's radical longevity book.com. Yes, indeed. Okay. So folks, you really want to encourage you to go out and pick up her book and support her mission. She's been a great influence in my life. And so as I've been a great influence in most of your lives, I, I would appreciate you supporting her because she supported me through so much. So, um, really appreciate that support. Plus you'll get a ton of knowledge from it. You'll get a ton of really great information. We got Patty asking about Hashimoto's. Um, she said, I heard if you have Hashis, you can't donate blood. Is that true? You know, I don't know. That may very well be true because it's an autoimmune issue. So we got to cure your Hashimoto's. Uh, what about your, your fillings? What about your cavitations, Patty? What's going on in your mouth? So Christy's asking about dental implants. Um, let's see here. Uh, dental implant. That's an excellent. Versus dental implants <laughs> versus root canals. What's your opinion? Root canals are often infected. As a matter of fact, they're all infected. It just depends upon what your immune system is doing with the, with the, the infection and all those oxidative uh, bacteria. So I would suggest that you would look into implants and I would look into zirconia implants without the titanium. They're hundred percent zirconia now. And that's just been, that's just been developed in the past couple of years. It's what I'm waiting for zirconia implant. And that's because of the charge, right? That's because you don't want an antenna in your mouth. And you want zero, zero metals in your mouth, but they used to have zirconia that had a titanium screw. So now there's no titanium screws. It's all zirconia. Okay. Let's see here. So uh, back to that blood question on Hashi's. I, I think you can donate your blood. They may not take it or give it to somebody, but you can still have your blood drawn if your ferritin levels are too high or if you have hemochromatosis and you're trying to get your iron under better control. Yes, and that's really what the key is. And there are a lot of doctors that will just take the blood and just throw it away so that you don't contaminate anybody. But if you've got Hashi's, you've got something going on. There's an infectious agent. And we have to track that down. It could be an infectious agent that's a viral agent. It could be a parasitic agent. It could be a toxic metal agent that's in your mouth or even a bacterial agent. So looking at your mouth is so important because your mouth is close to your thyroid. It's close to your brain. you got to get an, a dentist from that particular organization that you mentioned to kind of look at your mouth, take a 3D cone x-ray and figure out what's going on underneath the gums. Yeah, underneath those, if you've got root canals, definitely get a cone beam uh, vision. That way you can see if there's an actual infection because some of the root canals need to come out. And that's that's where a lot of people struggle with the issues because the teeth have connections to your organs. And a good biological dentist can help demonstrate that to you through the proper type of testing. And that's IAOMT.org is where you can go to look for a good solid biological dentist. And I see a lot of MS clear up when the mercury fillings are removed. So Rachel's asking about grounding. Would grounding with a bracelet be good for issues like epilepsy? Should they be worn while sleeping or all day as well? So she's kind of asking about whether it's helpful for epilepsy and the timing of wearing the bracelet or the, or the I would wear it 24 hours a day if I could. I only have the ability to wear it at night, but I would wear it as much as possible. And yes, it's good for issues involving the brain and the heart, which are electrical organs. Okay. Uh, Christy's asking, no, she says no metals in the mouth, but what about if you have a back fusion and have a titanium rod in your back? Well, then we do whatever we can to kind of diffuse the titanium. That's where you need to take binders to get rid of heavy metals. Not everybody is, is, is sensitive to titanium, Christy. You need to take a biological test, a bioactive test that's given by years ago. I think they used to get Thomas Levy used to go do one in the Clifford labs to see if you're actually re responding negatively to the titanium. Not everybody is allergic to it. I happen yeah. to be one of them and not everybody is. 
Yeah, so that on that note, you can do testing to see whether or not, one, you're allergic to it, and two, whether or not your immune system is reacting to it. Yeah. And if, if your immune system is reacting to it, then what you should do is make sure that your diet is super clean so that you reduce the stress that food can create on your immune system so that you don't get into an overwhelmed situation. And then in addition to that, you can, you can also test titanium toxicity. So if you're worried about that, that metal potentially leaching into you, you can get that type of testing done and see whether or not chelation or something like that might be a right move for you to make. But what I tell everybody that, that has any kind of metal implants in their teeth, in their back, and any other area of their system is to take high doses of vitamin C. I find that 20 grams a day keeps heavy metals at bay. 20 grams, and that's not yeah. an easy task. But it's absolutely essential, especially if you've been taking a lot of CAT scans or major x-rays. Yeah, yeah, Doctor, you know Dr. Jaffe, Russell Jaffe. He's a mentor I, of mine. I adore Brilliant. him, adore yeah. that guy. And uh, he, he, he turned me on to the, early on in my career, he turned me on to the chelating powers of vitamin C, how vitamin C could actually pull toxic metals from the body as a chelator as well. Especially, and it was used in the 1930s to neutralize polio, to actually cure polio, dare we say, by Dr. Kleiner. <laughs> dare we say, right? Especially in these times. Especially in these days. We live in interesting times in the censorship era. We do very much, very, very dangerous, very um, concerning, very disconcerting and very insidious. So Julie wants to know, she said, if you have root canals and can't afford a biological dentist, what would you recommend instead? I'd recommend daily vitamin C to the tune of 20 grams a day, Julie, and I'd recommend daily uh, charcoal. It's probably the least expensive way to get rid of the toxins. So vitamin C, high dose vitamin C, 20 grams or to bowel tolerance, because if you hit bowel tolerance at 10, you don't want to keep taking it, it'll, it'll dehydrate you. And just to go to show you, I had mercury fillings removed about 40 years ago, and my mercury is still sky high. I can tolerate 20 grams like that. No issues whatsoever. So I'm still mercury toxic after 40 years because my mercury fillings were taken out inappropriately. Oh my, yeah, that's not good. But it's, so you're, it's never too late to start. It's never too early to begin. And the amen to that too. Amen is right. <laughs> um, Faith says, I have an extreme sensitivity to nickel. Would you know why? Is there a potential reason as to why she might have that? Uh, I've had clients that have had an extreme sensitivity to nickel. Has she ever had nickel braces that may have had a nickel plating? Yeah, I don't know. She did. I don't know. We can answer the question that fast. Um, nickel plating or nickel exposure, die cad batteries, nickel batteries. Some people that stuff leaches into the water. So sometimes we get exposure through air and water. Um, and there's certain procedures with um, when women want to get pregnant that, that in, involve nickel as well. I don't want to get too personal with that, but I had a client that was very highly uh, nickel sensitive and we found out it was because of what her, her mother did years ago to get pregnant and it involved some sort of nickel, uh, a nickel compound. So there's something somewhere along the line. I don't know if it's important to figure out where it's coming from. We have to just neutralize it. And that's where selenium comes into play, 200 MCGs a day. And that's where high vitamin C will be her best friend. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, See, it's, not, it's not the toxins that bother me. It's your inability to excrete them that's the issue. Right, because our bodies are nothing but we're moving filters, right? We move through the world filtering out garbage, hanging on to good stuff and using the good stuff to heal, repair and maintain our bodies and, you know, pooping, peeing and breathing and, and sweating out the bad. And it's when those, when those pathways are broken that we end up in trouble. Somebody once told me that we need three livers, not one in this day and age. Yeah, I, I would... I would believe that with the level of, of garbage we call food, right? If food, if, if food alone could just be real, we would we would probably get by really well with just one. Vibrantly well and live a radical longevity, healthy life into until 120. Yeah, absolutely. Let's see here. I had a crazy jaw pain for eight years, did not know or did not do well with titanium implant. Now trying ceramic root canal, et cetera, sinus perforation, mercury fillings, mostly taken out inappropriately. What C do you take? 
Vitality C, it is the best C on the market. Vitality C was created by a cancer researcher. One scoop is four grams. I take five scoops a day all at once. So you'll have to see what your bowel tolerance is, but it's the very best. It's a buffered C. It has a little bit of uh, MSM in it and a little bit of D-ribose. Let's see, Jenny, I have high levels of okra toxin and, uh, and other molds. I am using carboxy by cell core, but cannot get rid of candida. I don't know where there's a question in that gene, but if you've got chronic candida issue and you're in mold, the reason you can't get rid of candida is because your mold is suppressing your immune system. That's one of the, one of the things yeast do is they produce mycotoxins that suppress immunity so they can continue to flourish. So if you're in a moldy environment uh, and that's where that acrotoxin is coming from, which usually it's aspergillus, penicillium or aspergillus create acrotoxin and suppress the immune system and create chronic candida infection. You know what I do for that, Dr. O? What's that? I do, I do a half a teaspoon twice a day and I divide it just like that. One half teaspoon twice a day of liposomal glutathione. Glutathione. Liposomal glutathione. Gotcha. And, I'm on, and I'd be on a yeast-free diet and I take a ton of Podarco tea, ton of it, three to four cups a day. Okay, there you go, Jenny. Um, let's see. I think we got to the end. Um, Dr. Ann Louise, this has been a great show. Um, thank you so much for coming on and thank you for writing the book. Um, is there uh, anywhere we can send people? I know ra ra radicallongevitybook.com. Let's get them there and let's get them to support the book and support, uh, support you. But uh, is there anything well, else, any you. last parting words? Only that we, that aging, and I'll just circle back to what we said at the beginning, aging is a privilege denied to many, so bless it. And yeah. you and I should, you and I should live till 120 along with your lovely constituents. That's the goal. Actually, my goal is 146. That's the, that's the age I program my brain to, to at least not, not give me a, not shortcut me or shortchange me. Well, see you at the other side of a hundred in any case. <laughs> I hope so. God willing. God willing. Well, thank you again for being on with me. I really do appreciate you. I always enjoy having a conversation with you. It's been wonderful. Wonderful for me too. You're a doll. You're a blessing. Be well, stay well. Thank you. You too. Take care. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. All right, folks, there you have it. Dr. Ann Louise Gittleman. Make sure you go over and visit you know, her website, radicallongevitybook.com. Pick up a copy of her book. There's, it's a great book. I've got my own copy here and a lot of great pearls in it that I think you could, you could glean valuable information from to improve your health. Hey, look, thanks for tuning in to this impromptu session of Pick Dr. Osborne's Brain. Make sure you do your part. You know, we bring you the information. Make sure you share it with somebody you know, share it with somebody you love. Together, we can help change the world and save the world. Hashtag save 100 million lives. We'll see you Monday night for another episode of Pick Dr. Osborne's Brain. Take care. Hey, don't forget to check out the rest of the series right here. Make sure you hit subscribe below. And as always, thanks for tuning in.